Hello everyone, welcome back to Fox Tech again. This time we have the iPhone as well as the Apple Watch and I'm talking about the way to use a keyboard on your Apple Watch. So let me just show it to you how it works. And there are a bunch of different things which you can actually switch here and like use. So that's really, really good about it. Anyways, at first, if you wanna just use the keyboard on your Apple Watch Series 9, that is like the same thing as if you were doing it on a Series 8 and a 7 because those have the larger screen which fits the keyboard. Any older version of Apple Watch is simply not gonna support it. So if you have like Series 5 or 4, you're just not gonna be able to get the keyboard. So yeah, that, that's just for the Series 9, so it obviously supports it. Anyway, to use the keyboard, you actually have to get to a place where you can type some text in. So it's usually gonna be a text message or a note or whatever you do when where you actually type some text. Anyways, you get to this section, tap on create a message, go to the text field, and if you have your iPhone around, you can use it to use the keyboard on your iPhone. That's an option as well, but if you are in here and you want to type the message in, right now I am in the scribble mode. So in case I want to change it, I have to swipe up like this. And I have multiple options, so I can choose the keyboard, scribble, or a dictation. So when I tap on keyboard, I can now use the keyboard, which gives me some autocorrect options. And it just works well because the screen is big enough, especially on the larger model available. It's just going to be kind of easy to type on. It's not that big of a problem, but you just swipe up like this and you can switch, switch between the options. So you can come back to scribble if you want or use dictation. It really depends. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the All Apps Explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. However, the problem could be that you cannot find the the language here alongside of the keyboard. And the problem is that the keyboard doesn't work with every single language. And the languages are synced with your iPhone. So if you want to use the keyboard and you only have some other language which doesn't support it, you're not even going to be able to find it in here, which kind of sucks, but this is what you have to do. So in case you want to use the keyboard, I would recommend you to add English to your keyboard. And for that, you need your iPhone. So if you bring out the iPhone, open up the settings, tap on general, tap on keyboard, keyboards at the top, you can see I have the English emoji and a Slovak. So you can see these are the keyboards also available on my Apple Watch. And if I want to add a new one, I can just click on add new whatever it's going to be. I'm just click on something. Let's say it's going to be Chinese. I'm going to click on that. It's going to show up on my Apple Watch in real time. You can see that it is already updated and I have multiple Chinese keyboards here. So that's really good. I can use this for the Chinese. So that's really good. That's just how it works. The keyboards are connected with your Apple Watch and your all of your Apple devices. So it's really important to keep it that way. So you know that if you want to add actual keyboard, it probably is going to be the English keyboard and you will need to have English language set is in your keyboard section on the iPhone. But it of course has to be the iPhone, which is paired with your Apple Watch. And that's basically how you can use the keyboard on your Apple Watch Series 9. I really do hope that you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below so you never miss future videos like this one, which are definitely going to help you out. So yeah, keep that in mind and I will see you later in the future. Peace out until then.